Good evening and welcome to match number 75 of the Hero I League. We're live from Kalyani Stadium as the Indian Arrows take on Churchill Brothers. So referee Ashish Tiwari is preparing to get us underway. And we kick off here at the Who ran in from the left. Once again on the right, the arrows are coming again. This time it's towards Partey. He gets the nutmeg and then takes a shot. And I think the referee's whistle had gone before that. And you can see with Silo, who's starting on the bench today. Here's Bridges Giri going for a ball into the box. Shilton Paul is there. The header has come in. And that was a very good chance for the Indian. On the other side, Ngoke was fouled after a nice nutmeg. Kwan plays it in. How about that from Crizo? Looking for something spectacular. Chested it not once but twice in the same move. Mastered that touch. And could have opened up to take a shot. But he couldn't. Suresh Maite plays it to Comron. Indian arrows are coming back. Crizo is there. He's taking it on his chest. And Zahid comes out bravely and makes a save. The whistle has also gone in the bargain. This is why Zahid is 57% ball possession for Indian Arrows. Something they really like to do is keep hold of the ball. Here is Krizo looking for Ngoke who is running past him. Danger hasn't been averted though. Comron is there. He's gone for what looked like a shot or maybe half a cross. Either way, it didn't work. Sort of wins that header, Sajjad, coolly, and quite stylishly. Tied that ball away, Bridges got a nutmeg on and after that, Ngoke. Looking for something from distance, not the first time he's from the side in blue. It's something to speak about. Kogu looks for Krizo, who's played to Ngoke. That is the chance of the half for him it's on their yellow cards. This could be the last attack of the first half. It is played towards Partebu takes a shot and that is saved by Shilton Paul. There could be another chance and that is the goal for Indian Arrows. It is Bridges Giri who gets his second of the campaign and Indian Arrows have snuck into the lead and my have they deserved it. Parthip took the shot, Shilton Paul made a good save but they just could not clear the lines and Bridges Giri. Fibin loses out, it's come to Ngoke, he's got Krizo ahead of him, Richard Costa is also running. Comron will make the run on the outside, he will play to Comron, Comron turns it off and that is as easy as it gets for Churchill Brothers. What a brilliant counter attack and what a goal from Comron Tursunov. And that is goal number 200 in the Hero Eye League season. And it is by Komron Tursunov. And it is set up by Kenneth Ngwoke. Komron takes it on the edge of the area. Gogo is there. Will he shoot from distance? He does, but it is quite wide. The recent encounter versus... Silverdem Sports Club, that is a bad clash between Tankadar. I think he's down. Ngoke will continue. Doesn't look good, but Richard Costa is on it. He takes a shot and goes for the header. And this could be it for Churchill Brothers. And it was cleared away from the boot of Crizo. Ivan Castagna has come on. It's gone towards the second post. Crizo is there. He gets the header. But before that, the whistle had blown. The whistle had gone and the Churchill brothers players are not happy with that decision. He loses the ball to Saurav Mandal. It's Gogo again and that was off the ball from Saurav Mandal. Right in front of the referee and assistant. And that will be a red card for Saurav Mandal. Booker's off the off the ball. I think he just put his hand in the face of... Who has given the ball away after slipping. Bridges Giri will chase it and I don't think he will keep it in. In fact, Gogu keeps it in and does quite well to do so and now he's running. 
on the other hand and plays it towards Ngoke and he's got two people inside and that is a good piece of defending to save the rest of the defense it was hard will the points be shared or will someone take home all three that is given away cheaply from Vibin to Bryce Bryce is very quick decides to cut back and play it towards Comron this could be it Comron with the shot and it has hit the crossbar it has hit the crossbar Criso is still there and that will be the end of the move what a chance for Comron. Comron and Quan standing over it. Comron is the one to take it. He'll be looking for... Oh, that's a header coming from Suresh Mete. And another good chance goes. A begging for Churchill Brothers. All under 22 players. They have bright futures ahead of them. And on the other hand, it's Churchill Brothers who have a historical past. As we see a chance coming in. And I think the... Offside flag was up for Himanshu. And he is going for it. Momo Sise did not get enough height on it or power. It is Momo Sise to take it and he's gone and he scored it. Momo Sise has grabbed the winner for Churchill Brothers. And it is him. He is the one who wanted to take the free kick. He convinced Comron. And Momo Sise has stunned Indian Arrows and Churchill Brothers for the second game in a row have come back from 1-0 down to win 2-1. What a free kick from Momo Sise. The uh, man of the hour and that is it for Churchill Brothers. They have managed to come back from behind like in the last game and they have defeated a resilient Indian Arrows side by two goals to one. And look at that, they're friends again, Comron and Momo's easy.